2024 is right around the corner, so let's get motivated and disciplined to create our dream life in the new year. But honestly, why wait until January 1st to start becoming the best versions of ourselves? Whether it's focusing more on your physical health, mental health, spiritual health, or starting that thing you always wanted to start, like a YouTube channel, or a creative small business, or a side hustle, or even just wanting to build better habits of waking up early, prioritizing your friends and family, picking up a new hobby, whatever it may be, why not start now? It's time to officially exit our lazy girl, giving excuses, pitying ourselves era, and move on to bigger and better things. Let's start now. Just like everyone else, I set New Year's resolutions for the beginning of the year, and by the time the end of January hits, I've usually completely forgotten or given up consistently working towards my goals. We put a lot of pressure on ourselves to achieve things, break bad habits, start new ones, finally start crossing things off of our bucket list, getting over our ego, getting over our self-consciousness, and all of this pressure, along with unrealistic expectations, deter us from becoming better versions of ourselves. So instead of creating these bigger than life yearly goals and hoping to achieve them in the perfect way, let's start working now, before New Year's, before we feel fully prepared, and let's enjoy the process every single day. I don't wake up super early every day, but I haven't let that stop me from trying to consistently become an early riser with a slow morning routine. It's something I want to achieve, so why wait until January to start doing it? Might as well get some practice in now. I like having spare time to myself in the mornings by waking up at least an hour before my first daily commitment in order to start the day on my terms and not be a slave to my calendar. I also love moving my body in the morning with a morning workout class or an outdoor run or walk. I decided to get out of my comfort zone this morning and try a trampoline cardio class, which was actually so freaking fun and I'm definitely signing up for another one. But I never would have known that I like trampoline classes if I didn't discipline myself to wake up early this morning go to something that made me a little uncomfortable at first and just freaking do it. I'm trying bone broth for the first time. I've heard good things about this brand and about bone broth in general. So let's try it. How the heck do I open this? First time trying bone broth. It smells delicious, actually. Kind of smells like soup. Yummy. Especially on a cold day like today. This is actually pretty good. I think I would get a different flavor though. This one is chicken flavored. I saw that there were other flavors available, so maybe I'll try a different one, but it's actually not that bad. I always wait for my hair to dry naturally, like air dry a little bit before going in with my hair dryer and my thermal brush. So while I let this sit, and since it is a little too early to log into work, I'm going to tidy up my space, do a quick little like 15 minute clean up because that's really all I need to make things seem slightly tidier and you know sometimes in the mornings I don't have that much time so 15 minutes is like a good point to just like feel like I'm getting a little bit done while also managing my time properly. 
I'm a firm believer that a tidy space equals a tidy mind. It's funny because as soon as I get stressed or I have a lot of things on my plate, the first aspect of my life that I sacrifice is my tidiness. I stop putting things away, I leave trash out, I throw clothes everywhere, and that mess in turn only makes me even more stressed. And creating the mess barely saved me any time in the first place, so it's a lose-lose situation. I've been intentional about spending at least 15 minutes a day tidying up my space so I can make my life easier. Now I'm going to journal for a little bit. This is a habit I hate recommending because it sounds so like cliche and so like, okay, I know like everyone says to journal, I should just journal, but like I don't really want to, but like I kid you not, it's so good. Although I haven't done it in quite some time, so I wanna get back into the habit and my goal for 2024 is to do it pretty much every single day. I'll give myself some slack, but I want to try to journal every day, at least two sentences. I also have this gratitude journal from Notekoi. It's really cute and it just is kind of like a five minute journal where it says in the morning, today I'm grateful for and in the evening, the highlight of my day and the main takeaway from today. So I'm going to fill out the three things I'm grateful for right now and then in the evening, I'll do the rest of it. But I'm actually looking back at the last time I filled this out and it was in July of 2023 and here are the things I was grateful for because I think it's like kind of crazy. It was apparently like the four year anniversary of my brand so I said I'm grateful for four years of Monica's Collective and then the second thing was all 8,769 subscribers on YouTube and other platforms. That's crazy because I'm now, I think I was talking about YouTube, yeah. This is crazy because now on YouTube I have like pretty much 16,000 subscribers which is double that of july that's just wild this is why journaling is also so great you can look back at what you were proud of yourself for six months ago and see how things have changed and maybe like remind yourself of different priorities that you have that you might have forgotten about or just like feel proud of yourself to see how far you've come and the third thing i was grateful for was my work ethic my discipline and my evolution of confidence and I love that I think I'm gonna write that again today because this year I feel like I've been really good with my work ethic and I feel like I've been really confident in myself and I'm also not overthinking about like oh if I do this someone will think this thing about me like I never really think that way anymore and that just came with a lot of practice in 2024 I definitely want more of that energy and then I also have this old journal that I still haven't um, fully filled in yet, but it's just like blank notebook pages and I just write down my thoughts for a little bit. Another one of my resolutions that I'm starting early this year is to learn something new every day that helps me build my dream life. So I'm delighted that Skillshare is sponsoring this part of today's video. Skillshare is the largest online learning community with thousands of online self-paced classes taught by the best of the best instructors in so many different creative categories. 2024 is the year your side hustle will come to life and Skillshare classes on topics like how to start an Etsy shop or the basics of email marketing or leveraging Notion as a content creator will help you turn your side hustle dreams into a reality. Skillshare is where creative professionals go to learn everything they need to go from passion to paycheck, which I absolutely love. I am personally taking a few courses and following a few learning paths at the moment. I've been loving Notion for YouTube creators, Easily Manage Your Creative Projects by Asante Bean, and the learning path Creative Productivity, Kickstart, and Sustain Any Project. Learning Paths are a series of related classes from various instructors that just keep the learning process new and exciting. I love that every course has a hands-on project that you can opt to participate in. These projects help you practice the things you learn from the course, and you can upload your project results to the course for others to take inspiration from. If you would like to join Skillshare for free and take advantage of some of the incredible classes that have literally changed my life, check out the link in my description. The first 500 people to use my link and sign up will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. The new year is the perfect time to invest in learning things that will just help pave the way for a reality that is closer to your dream life, so I definitely recommend you trying it out. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this portion of the video. Com 
cabelos Cor de mel singela Seu nome é Mabel É uma menina Cheia de vida Se vamos para a praia Não esquece a sandália E se olha pro céu Se pudesse organizar Está vazia um dia Também vou ficar E te ver crescer Me faz tão feliz Saber que você É você I'm going to get ready a little bit. End of the year motivation is definitely something that I need and that I watch a lot of other YouTubers do videos like this. But a lot of those YouTubers don't work nine to five. They don't have a small business that they run. Just like live a normal non-influencer kind of life. And so I was struggling to find motivation to like keep going into the office for a nine to five job and keep grinding with my small business work with holiday sales and things like that. So I thought I would just like create the motivation on my own and then help motivate you guys. Most people out there do have a standard nine to five or corporate or in office, in person kind of job. And I find that that's like the toughest part of the end of the year, knowing that the holidays are right around the corner and you're really excited to maybe take some time off or to spend time with family and travel and things like that. By the way, I'm using the last few bits of my unseen sunscreen. There's like literally nothing left. I went into the office this week three times, which um, is what my team does, and it was tough, let me tell you. Next week, we're just doing two days in the office and then we're gonna take a little hiatus from going into the office just to be considerate of people who are traveling, things like that, which is really great and I'm really thankful that I am able to do that. There's so much going on outside. I cannot for the life of me find my eyelash curler. That's weird. But I thought if you guys needed some inspiration and motivation to keep working and giving your all like towards the end of the year, with your corporate jobs and for those of you who own small businesses to like keep grinding through oh no <laughs> keep grinding through the holiday rush and things like that maybe this video can be it for you <laughs> on the agenda today i have a few things i work half days mainly on fridays this morning i do need to stop by ups to drop off packages for my small business i think there's just one actually one big one I need to drop off at UPS. I have a pop-up shop tomorrow, which is an in-person event, if you don't know, and I need to prepare a little bit for that. That's small business related. And then for my personal life, I really want to clean up a lot of my apartment, just do like a quick tidy everywhere. I kind of did it in my crafting room already. I want to do a little bit more than I want to do the kitchen, the bathroom, and a little bit of the bedroom, just to get me in the habit of cleaning more often that's one of my new year's resolutions is to stay tidy more often it's just so unfortunate i can't find my eyelash curler oh it's right there wait how did this get over there do you guys ever feel that way like you find something in a certain place and you're like how the heck did my brain think to put it there anyway also for my personal life i've been really into reading and learning with podcasts with skillshare videos and just like investing in my own mind <laughs> and mental sanity and my learning and my brain and like all that stuff because honestly i feel like this year i've been pretty good with investing in taking care of my body going to workout classes going for more walks eating better doing things that make my feel my body feel better but with my mind it's a little bit of a different story so i think i might hit up the library um before it closes today so I have my cute little breakfast here. It's half eaten already, but I just did an avocado toast with honey and chili flakes and blackberries. And that's good enough for me. It's colorful, it's pretty, it's nutritious, it makes me feel good, it's yummy. Okay, I got a candle going, I'm logged into work. I'm almost done with my bone broth, so let's get on with the day.
look at how beautiful this library haul is. So cute all together and I found a lot of titles that I've been looking for. This one I actually have never heard of before. It's The Light Always Breaks, but it sounds really interesting. It looks like it's about a black woman in the 1940s starting a restaurant and falling in love with a white boy and how that isn't super acceptable and there's family drama there's like political drama business drama sounds good and i like the cover next one is people we meet on vacation emily henry you probably heard about this one this is not the most appropriate time of year to read something like this it's more of like a summer read but i'll see if i pick this up i got a bunch so i don't know if i'll be able to finish all of them by the time they're due normal people sally rooney also heard of this it looks like it'll be a really quick read so maybe i'll do this during the holidays and then also by Sally Rooney, I have conversations with friends, heard really great things about this. And just like the way the words are spaced, I think I'll be able to read this quickly, even though it looks a little thicker. Um, but I've been meaning to read these for a while, so I want to get around to it. This I saw at a bookstore recently. It's called Glossy. It's kind of about how Gloss, Glossier came to be, the beauty brand. Emily Weiss is the creator of Glossier. And it's kind of about her story, I think, based off of what I've read from the blurb. Definitely want to prioritize reading that one as well. Basically all of these I really want to read. And then Happy Place is actually one that I requested and picked up today because it was ready to be picked up. If you guys don't go to the library and just buy books, I would really recommend you try out your library because they have everything. And you just have to request it, pick it up in a few days or whenever it's ready. We'll see how many I get to. <laughs> I just finished editing a video finally. It's taking me quite a long time to get this video finished, so I'm very happy that it's finally done. The end of the year is around the time when we kind of start to slack off and use the holidays as an excuse to be lazy. Now I am a huge advocate for rest and relaxation and sleeping 8 plus hours a night, but getting genuine rest is different than being lazy. I put off preparing for a small business pop-up shop that was literally the day after I filmed this video and I didn't put off preparations because I was relaxing or doing activities that would re-energize me. I was honestly just being lazy. I think going into the holidays and the new year, it's important to understand ourselves and low-key figure out when we're lying to ourselves. Are you not starting that business because you don't have time quote unquote or are you just scared that it might fail? Are you delaying trying out a morning workout class because you can't possibly wake up that early? Or are you just watching TV and on social media way too late into the night to get a proper restful 8 hour sleep? I know I'm not a lazy person, but I did a lazy thing this week by not properly prepping my pop-up materials. And that's fully okay. The important part of this whole exercise is to forgive yourself for doing certain things, accept that you did a lazy thing or a wrong thing or a wasteful thing or a negative thing, and know that that thing you did doesn't make you a lazy, wrong, wasteful, or negative person at your core. Tomorrow you can try again and work toward your goals without yesterday holding you back. Now we can sit here all day and talk about what we need to improve on and how we want to get better at certain things and stuff we want to start doing to be better versions of ourselves, but it definitely also is worth mentioning how far you've come already. Practicing gratitude for what we already have can significantly improve our self-worth mindset. And when we're feeling good about ourselves, it's easier to act in a way that benefits our lives. Instead of knocking on myself for doing some last minute pop-up prep, I got back to work and started labeling some candles because I know that that will make tomorrow's version of me proud. 
And after getting a good amount of work done, I acknowledged that taking some rest, reading my book, and getting eight hours of sleep would be more beneficial in the long run rather than staying up late prepping more for the market. You should give yourself a break, know that you're more likely than not doing a-okay, and tomorrow you'll be doing even better. At the end of the day, you can start working toward your new year's resolutions whenever you want. January 1st, today, never, it's totally up to you. But if you start today, know that it will be worth it. I'll see you guys in the next one.